Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you are doing well. And we are returning to a segment we have tried before on this channel, the Impossible Genre Quiz, where Austin, uh, but with my help this time around, essentially pulls together a bunch of obscure and strange uh, left field genres off of the RateYourMusic.com platform. Those are also laced with a handful of fake ones and through a series of multiple choice questions and answers, uh, you got to suss out which one is the actual genre. Now, I'm not doing the quiz this time around. Actually, again, like I said, uh, I came together with the genres as did Austin, and we are challenging uh, other creators on the YouTube platform this time around. Uh, it's actually Riley and Dignan of the Hive Mind channel. How are you guys doing? Doing good. How are you? Good. Does, it feel, right. does it feel weird to hear me say your names? No. I always picture you saying my name. <laughs> good, good, good. It's a fantasy. It's a, it's a thing that you've thought about long and hard. It's a true honor, really. Thanks for having us, Anthony. Yeah, thank you, Anthony. All right. Um, are you guys ready to get underway, or is there anything that you want to say before you know you're you're put through the ringer here? Uh, maybe just that. Yeah. Okay. Is that perfect. cool? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's totally cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Through the chat, I am passing you your first batch of uh, genres here. And just to sort of read them for the audience, uh, your options for this uh, first uh, time around. Uh, first one is a shit gaze, T-pop, <laughs> freak house, and soft wave. One of these genres ah. is a real genre. The other three are totally made up. I mean, all genres are made up, but the you know three of them do not exist on rateyourmusic.com. One of them does. Uh, so between the both of you, which of these four uh, options here do you think is the uh, is is the actual genre? I feel like we have uh, friends that make all of these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I know of K-pop and I know of J-pop. Mm -hmm. T-pop is that. Maybe Tasmanian pop, uh, Twisted Tees, uh, Toronto pop, maybe Freak House, definitely F Freak House and Shit Gaze. You feel live like in a Freak House, kinda. Well, it's freaky over there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to me, it's just a home. Right, it's uh, a freak home. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. It's you. a freak domicile. Soft Wave sounds just so. That's like what Spotify would name a playlist mm -hmm. that is kind of like a adult alternative. Yeah, you know, they'd be like a oh, Soft Wave. Yeah, it's like David Gray. You know, but based on the first video, it's usually like the unlikely one that is actually real. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors at play here. Mm. Right. Mm. Right. We have to think about what you would make the fake genre. I'm between. Honestly, I'm between. I think it's T-pop, actually. <sighs> That's so obvious, though. Switch out a letter. Yeah. It's a switch out. Uh, I, I, it's like techno pop. Right. I kind of think it's Freak House. Okay, I will follow your lead here, but if you're wrong, you have to follow my lead on the next one. It's a deal. It's a deal. We're going to go with Freak House. Final so answer. You think Freak House is the real genre? Yes. yes. It's actually Shit Gaze. God. Oh, man. Uh, man. Shit Gaze being an extremely raw and lo-fi genre of music blending a raucous garage rock with the abrasive, often dissonant guitars of noise rock to create a sonic wall of deafening distortion inspired by Shoe Gaze, just a lot more abrasive and, and lo-fi. Ah. Hardcore Shoe Gaze. Just what we needed, honestly. Yeah, more Shoe Gaze. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for, for you guys to uh, check out later, I'll send you uh, an, an example of the genre off of a band camp, this uh, record from a California band that's been around for a while named The Intelligence. So you guys okay. can get, get into some shit gaze yourselves. You know, yeah, and, and become it. real shit gaze aficionados. <laughs> shit gazers. <laughs> yeah, I've mostly been into Zoomer gaze recently. So it's me after I eat a bunch of protein, <laughs> staring in the toilet. You know what I mean? <laughs> Zoomer gaze. I, I didn't know you guys were uh, LGBT allies. Yeah, obviously. absolutely. Of course, you didn't know that. Uh, I thought it was in our Twitter bio. I'm learning now. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready for question two? I guess. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Here are your four options. Uh, we have Epic Sludge, White Voice, Crossover Core, and Ritual Collage. 
Yeah. Wow. White voice is what a lot of people call our channel. Yeah. Well, two white voices. Uh, <laughs> uh, and crossover core was the name of my co-ed basketball team in college. I remember that. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. Yeah, they were sick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, broke a lot of ankles that season. <laughs> uh, ritual collage. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Seems like a. I don't know. Seems like like a tarot card sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, epic sludge. That sounds good. That sounds cool. I feel like it's. Oh, I don't know. Do you? Which one are you leaning towards here? I'm kind of leaning towards white voice, just I because like it feels like the one that you couldn't come up with. I'm leaning towards ritual collage. Oh, what's the ritual part of it, though? Right, but what was the one in the first video? There was something like conducted improv or something, and I was like, no way, that's a genre, and then it was. Right. And that's kind of how I'm feeling about ritual collage, and you were wrong on the first one. That's true. I am going to follow your lead. I'm just saying I was leaning towards white voice, and I can imagine what it might be. It might be like white noise music, mm -hmm. but it's all voice. It's like a acapella white yeah. noise. Or it could be the new Ben Shapiro song. Oh, yeah, him and uh, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's up to you, buddy. I'm going D. Let's go ritual collage. It was actually white voice. No! White voice <laughs> is a real genre on Rate Your Music. It is a traditional form of vocal music uh, of people from Eastern Europe. So it kind of covers a lot of different, uh, you know, uh, areas uh i'll send you guys one record uh, that i'm not even going to try to pronounce uh that features a lot of traditional vocal music actually from ukraine and some of the stuff i was sampling off of it was was uh honestly heat it was pretty sick very mesmerizing <laughs> stuff yeah uh, so i'll, I'll pass wow. uh, that your way so you can uh, become white voice experts so the white in white voice quite literally means that it's <laughs> white <laughs> eastern european quite, quite literally yeah okay <laughs> All right, uh, moving on to the third series of options here. Which one is the real genre? We have Turbo Folk, Deep Jam, Congo Trance, and Jangle 95. Jangle 95 here is a joke. That has to be a joke. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I feel like we're getting tricked. Uh, Jangle oh, you're getting 90. tricked, man. You're getting tricked yeah. big time. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, what were the first 94 jangles like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, or was, or was mean, it just a jangle that happened in 1995? Ah, right. Or it could be at like a right. strict 95 BPM. Oh, it's a right, jangle right, exactly. in 95. <laughs> oh, yeah. A jangle that goes to 120 just wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't fall into, it. yeah. <laughs> no, that's more Congo trance. <laughs> and turbo turbo folk now we've heard <laughs> folk punk yeah this is really really fast folk punk it's like bob dylan on adderall <laughs> it's like frank turner on adderall <laughs> uh deep jam that's so vague yeah mm. it's mm. like umphreys mcgee or something yeah it, it almost <laughs> describes nothing deep jam we're just in a deep jam <laughs> congo trance you know what are you thinking I'm between C and D here. Nah, Turbo Folk sounds real too. I don't think it's Deep Jam. I really want it to be Jangle 95 because I want the example of the sound so I can go around kind of with my nose up in the air telling people, I've been listening to a lot of Jangle 95 and White Voice recently and people will be like, shut up. <laughs> I feel like Turbo Folk's a safe answer. I think it's Deep Jam. We're trading off here, so. Oh, I, I'm taking this one? I think so. I'm fine with Deep Jam. But I think it's Turbo Folk. Let's do Turbo Folk. It's more fun. <laughs> it's a more fun answer, even if we're wrong. Okay. A, it is. It's actually Turbo Folk. Yes! We got one. It's, it's actually a, a style of music that came out of Serbia, fusing Balkan mu music with, uh, you know, more contemporary forms of popular music, you know, be it pop or dance music. Uh, yeah. There's actually been some artists. Um, it's, it's not just a foreign thing. There have actually been some artists in the U.S. who have had some success making this music. A New York group uh, that was popular a little bit more when I was in college uh, named Balkan Beatbox uh, nice. came out okay. with some <laughs> records uh, that, um, you know, are very much... Uh, Kind of considered classics in the turbo folk genre, I suppose you could say. I'll send you guys a little bit that you can uh, check out later. I feel sure. like turbo folk just like gets into bluegrass. 
at a certain point, if you play folk music <laughs> fast enough, it's yeah. just bluegrass, right? <laughs> you know, uh, there's a lot of different kinds of folk music across mm -hmm. the world, but I suppose you you could probably turbo any of them. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, turbo is just a concept that you can apply widely to any genre of roots music. So, you know, just yeah. turbo whatever. Yeah, and speaking of ball can beatbox, uh, Dignant here can ball and he can beatbox. What? Yeah, I like drinking beatboxes. All right, let's get into our uh, fourth series of genres here. Which one is the real one? We have Bendy. Uh. We have Easy Core. We have 16th century Bardic music and also Neo Ska. I absolutely love all of these that you guys came up with, but this yeah. is the first one that I know for sure. Okay. We'll see. Easy Core. It is because mm. Easy Core uh, Four Years Strong was considered Easy Core. Okay, and they're like kind of like a like a pop punk version of it. But yeah, what's easy about them? I don't know what was easy about it because I was in those mosh court. pits, and there's nothing easy about it. Yeah, you know, and it wasn't even slow or like relaxing in any way. Hmm. But Easy Core is a genre. And you're right. It is a genre. That that was. I, I thought that might be the easiest one, but yeah, it is a genre. And as uh, Riley was saying, there's a lot of pop punk elements and influence in easy core music, but also there's those metal core breakdowns and everything yep. like you would yep. normally get out of you know some of that heavier, more aggressive stuff. And it's kind of like a you know very catchy, upbeat, positive pop blend of those two worlds. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was actually going to use Four Years Strong as an example of mm -hmm. uh, that genre. So, uh, you know, good on you, Riley Nose, yeah. genre <laughs> expert. Toledo, Ohio. There was a lot of that going on in yeah. like 2012. All right, so. So, so you guys are two and two. You could okay. get this last one and come out with a W yep. and get three out of five. Are you ready? Are you feeling lucky? $100,000 on the line, Anthony. Thank you very much again for having us. We are feeling lucky and we are ready to go. I said 100,000 comments. You guys are 100, getting 100,000 comments. I heard you. On... No problem. I'm getting you loud and clear through here. <laughs> Venmo is fine. All right, here we go. Here is the uh, last uh, series of genres here. Uh, we have uh, Breakbeat Kota. We have Acid Bass. We have Structural New Age and Bluescape. Ooh, these ones all feel real acid base i feel like our guy in the room tony right here not you anthony our guy tony is an acid base fan yeah but breakbeat coda that seems hard to come up with yeah but he came up this is the guy this is the mind that came up with bendy so <laughs> <laughs> it could be anything. I, yeah From i mean the guy we, we're really cooking bendy. on some of these genres if we can go yeah. back i mean soft wave that sounds real i mean you know you guys were almost duped with the ritual collage yeah lest I mean, us I, forget I, jangle 95 too. right that's true <laughs> yeah and, and shout out to austin she did a great job too right uh bluescape that sounds like a new app yeah, blues cape. <laughs> it could be like blues music from Cape Cod. <laughs> uh, structural New Age. I don't know. That sounds like architecture. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is the toughest one, I think. I mean, it, it feels right. Acid base has to be real, right? Yeah. But on Rate Your Music, maybe not. But Breakbeat Coda could be it, too. I'm kind of between those two. I think it's A. You think so? Trust me for the win here. Hundred thousand dollars. I'll give you a grand. All right, I trust you. All right, A Anthony. It's actually A. Yes! I told you to put Jungle Dutch. It's an Indonesian style that slows down syncopated rhythms of a uh, you know another larger genre of electronic and pop music that brings in elements of trance and uh, oh, you know lighter, sick. more sort of like blissful. Uh, electronic music, uh, which is uh, named uh, Funkat. Uh, mm, oh. I'll, I'll send you guys a little bit of a breakbeat coda for you to uh, check out as well. But yeah, you know, it's 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 some uh, quality Indonesian dance pop. I love it. I was listening to yeah. Persian disco recently, so nice. Kind of, I feel like I would like it. We All did right. it. You did it. You got three out of five. Correct. Yes. Thank you for the hundred thousand comments. Yeah, no $10. problem. I'm no sure problem. those are all going to be you. Yeah, they're all going to be me. I'm going to painstakingly make sure every comment gets posted by hand. Thank you. They're going to be artisan Good. comments. Good. Uh -huh. A deal is a deal. Bespoke <laughs> comments. All right. Well, uh, 
Riley, Dignan, you guys killed it. Thank you for coming on and being uh, our first guinea pigs. Anytime. Uh, with the impossible genre quiz. Yes, thank you so much for having us. We, we will come back be, anytime. Yeah. Always wanted to be a guinea pig. <laughs> okay, I will take you up on that anytime, literally any time of day. I will be yep. calling you all hours of the night. Genre right quiz now, pop quiz. Yep. <laughs> just, I'm just, up. Just one single one, 4 a.m. Which of these genres is real? Uh, <laughs> oh, know. you won't stop. He won't stop. stop. <laughs> I changed my number and he got my new one somehow. <laughs> Do you guys have anything cool coming up on the channel that you want to tease people toward? Uh, obviously, it's linked down below for anybody to check out. Tour. Yeah, we're going on tour starting in March, going all the way into April. So come see us live. That's uh, our website is what? It is uh, Hive Mind Tour. If you type that in, I'm sure it'll come up on Google. Yeah. And what are you guys doing on tour uh, outside of showing everybody how many genres you know? <laughs> uh, that's That's a big part of the show, obviously. And then there will be some, let's just say... Uh, prop <laughs> props prop comedy Pro yeah <laughs> yeah a lot of prop comedy okay prop props. drama too yeah prop drama prop, prop drama. drama prop comedy prop action yep. yeah mm -hmm. prop horror that's a surprise okay. yeah horror is a big part of it yeah. yeah okay all right cool well again we'll link that down below too i uh, appreciate you guys coming through thank you yeah thank you thank you, you. all right bye bye bye